So here we are, we're looking at uh, our equipment. There's the iPad 2. Mom, you'll have your computer there. And we've got the sync cable there. And also, I forgot to mention, one of the first things I think you should get is, Mom, you, I think you already have one, is a notebook for Dad to write down passwords, username, password. Dad just, uh, you know, put uh, two or three on a page, keep it simple. And uh, we're going to set up some accounts later. You'll want to put that in there. So anyway, to do the sync, um, Mom, your computer will be turned on, of course, your MacBook. And uh, so you want to uh, plug in the USB cable, Mom, into your computer. Um, you could hit pause now and you can get your cable in. There, I got it in. And then we're going to plug in the MacBook Pro in the bottom here. You want to write that. I showed you. You want to have the... I've repaired my cable. <laughs> You want to have the icon on the top, so that's the bottom. And there you can just see my icon peeking through. Not very well on this video, but it's there, trust me. And so that's up into the slot. Oops, sorry. And it will turn the iPad. Oops, turn the iPad on. You can stop yours and put it in. I may have to do something here too. It can be a little bit awkward putting it in with one hand, that's for sure. There. Okay, you see it's turned on. And then you slide to open. Now Susan has hers with a password. I won't show it to you. I'll enter it. There. And you see it just opened. And so we've got the connection made right there. And then back over here on the computer, Mom. Open your iTunes, it's that icon right there. If you look really close, you can see that there's a little light at the underneath the bottom of the icon there. That means that the program is actually open and running. So that uh, to open there's two different ways. If it wasn't open, so I'll just close mine. Close mine and quit. And so now it's that little white light disappears. You can see there's some down there, but there isn't one there now. So then, I'm going to open it. You see it opening up. Boom, there's the program. And immediately over here, you'll see iPad 2 shows up. It should say, I forget what we call yours, Dad, McGregor Macintosh iPad 2. And that means there's the connection. And so then, we want to do a sync. So we're going to take our mouse and we're going to just select over here the word. Okay, and that's supposed to, don't click that, that's the eject button. We want to click on the title of the, plant, the device. And there you go, and you'll see it opens up in this window. So let's get the camera frame there. And it says just above the mouse there, it has the name of the iPad 2. You'll see that, and you'll know that you're talking to yours. And then coming down, it uh, has down in the very bottom right hand corner, it's a shame it's not up near the top. Oh there, you can't quite see there. <clears throat> There's my mouse and it says sync. So as soon as I click on that, right up in this window here, it's going to show <clears throat> what's going on and we're going to see it say backing up. So I'm going to click on it and immediately you look up there, it says backing up. And then we just did this one not long ago. And so it's not taking very long to do it at all. And now you have a backup. Now, the first time you do this, I should have said this earlier, it will come up here and it will ask you to register now, register later, or register never. You could actually click register never. It's not registered never. You can register whenever you want. It's just to stop that nag screen from coming up. Sorry, the brightness went off. So we'll register it later if we're going to do it. Don't worry about it. But don't click register later. Click never because you it's not never. Okay? And that will take care of everything you need to do right now. You should just practice doing that once a day or more. Do it, you know, several times so you get it down pat. And that will store a backup into the, the computer here. And then we have ways to retrieve things off of there in case something goes wrong. And... Uh, there's plenty more of these sort of lessons on the internet that'll solve all your problems. Okay, so I'll upload this now.